Calm yourself, Commander. We are about to meet an alien race in person for the first time. If you are correct, they are more advanced than us and capable of being a significant threat. That gives me good reason to be on the highest alert. Since the discovery of the temple ruins, we have had reason to believe that there are other inhabited planets in the galaxy, and now finally, we have our proof. I, for one, am relieved that the very first contact that we have made is with a race of humans that seem to be very much like us. Maybe you trust them without suspicion, but I cannot. Nevertheless, Commander, we must proceed. <laughs> sending their most respected team of representatives. No doubt, the leader of this group will be a brilliant and savvy negotiator. We must be at our best to match the challenge. Personally, I cannot wait to meet a man of such genius. Howdy, folks! Thank you, Colonel. We would be happy to take you on a full tour of our city, but first, we would like to spend a little time talking about our mutual interests. So please, please, sit. To be honest, we are still trying to adjust to the fact that our uh, Stargate, as you call it, is no longer a mere relic of a bygone era. Obviously, it was quite a shock when your communication machine appeared last month. First contact can be somewhat unnerving. Well, we are all very pleased to finally get the chance to talk face to face. From our study of the ancient temple, we have been able to deduce the Stargate was an interplanetary transportation device. But we haven't determined how to make a connection with the many worlds described in the writings in the temple. It took us a while to get the hang of it, too. We know that the symbols on the Stargate itself are the key, but as for the number and sequence to enter in the dialing device, we can definitely help you out there. Once we get to know you a little better. Oh, yes, of course. We intend to allow you full access to our, our citizens, our uh, history, our culture, so that you may come to trust us. I hope we can reciprocate. We also want to make it clear that we intend to offer all that we can in trade for any knowledge or technology that you are willing to share. Kiss Kisse. We call it Tritonin, Colonel. It is our greatest scientific discovery. How so? Major Carter, from what you have told me about uh, your world, your people suffer from a myriad of illnesses. Many of them are untreatable. Tritonin makes our immune systems impervious to any ailment. We live in perfect health. <laughs> 